Hello, this is Jungle to Jungle. My name is Amanda Wilson, and I'm here with Clara Pena, and we're at Sinchi in Leticia, Colombia. First off, what is Sinchi? Okay, Sinchi is a research institute. The word Sinchi means uh, the people who knows a lot of plants. It's an indigenous word mm -hmm. uh, in the general language. Uh, Colombia has five institutes for research, and the Instituto Sinchi is the one that made the research in the Amazon region of Colombia. Wow. And why do you have, I don't know if you can see in the camera, she has big galoshes on. Part of our work uh, has to be outside with the people in the forest, in the jungle, and that's why I'm using my boots. What other kinds of people do we find walking around in the hallways here? Okay, here we have people of all the areas. We have economists, biologists, we have uh, nutritionists, we have uh, indigenous uh, researchers working with us. We, we do basic uh, investigation, basic research in to know how, the, how much biodiversity of plants and animals we have, mm -hmm. but we also have to to deal with the problems of the people who is living here. In preparing to go to the Amazon, we explained the Amazon is debatably the most biodiverse place in the world. And then our kids were like, why is that? And yeah. so we're trying to figure that out. Do you, can you offer any Yeah, well, ideas? Uh, I will say that there are two main reasons why. The first is because uh, this region and the river, the Amazon River, first goes to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, after that, the Andean Mountains comes up and it blocks the, the, the way of the river, so the river has to go to the other side. All that kind means that this region have contributions from the Atlantic and from the Pacific Ocean at the same time. The other thing is in the glaciations times, this part of the world was not uh, with ice, was not uh, freezing. Yeah. And that's why this part can uh, have more plants and more animals for that time that was uh, like a big reservoir yeah. of, of species. And that's why uh, this here, we, now we have all this kind of of biodiversity here. Oh, I love that. Do you have any advice to our young scientists in Hawaii? Uh, yes, well, first, if you have the opportunity to come, just come. <laughs> you are very welcome. And the other is that if you are far away that you probably will find that uh, you can do things for the Amazon. Just try to, to keep the air pu uh, pure. Uh, the water, don't, don't waste the water, mm -hmm. uh, use in the best way the paper mm -hmm. because deforestation, uh, potable water, uh, uh, sweet water are coming from the Amazon for the rest of the, of the world. So mm -hmm. you can do little things in your life that can preserve this kind of, of the world. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, Very welcome. <laughs>